All right, so we're at a house that has um, Panasonic ductless mini split that's getting removed. It also has a Brivus gas heater, also known as a gas furnace. And I'm here today to decommission and remove that. So decommission and remove the, the Brivus gas furnace, decommission and remove the Panasonic ductless mini split and we're going to replace it with a Dakin R32 ducted air conditioner and it's the underfloor model so I've never installed one of these before this is a new model or a newish model I believe so I'll be interested to see what it looks like the difference and we're going to incorporate the air hub so definitely show you all of that so let's get into it this is the Brivas gas furnace basically it's just sitting on the ground um yep it's just got it's like a 12 inch duct off the front off the back just like not a big fan of these because they just have no airflow they run eight inch ducts to all the room and they just i mean they produce really hot air but i'm just they never have good airflow in my opinion um gas is no longer cheap in australia and people are moving away from it so taking this out and replacing it with a dakin unit so I'm gonna decommission it now get rid of it and we're gonna put the indoor unit in a new location all right so gas furnace is out Came out that uh, access, and this is where we got to bring the new one in there through there, and I'll show you that once it's done. It wasn't a very central spot, just quietly, like easy to access, but just longer for the airflow. It's a bit weird, but anyway. Right, so the gas furnace is fully gone. Basically, it was just powered by like a three pin plug. I've cut that, soldered it off. So, fully empty now. And obviously, the Dakins, you can dismantle the indoor unit so it'll come through there. All right, so the indoor unit is in position. Basically, what we normally do is suspend these indoor units. However, only if this, uh, like the position that it's in works. Like for example, I usually run Unistrata Cross and Booker Rod down from the bearers, never off the actual floor joist because it vibrates like it vibrates the floor but from the bearers i've never had an issue in this particular this is where i want the unit that's perfect it's nice and central um and there's only that one bearer that i could sort of use so in this case we're actually just um we've basically made like some support so it's like that's 400 mil off the ground so it's not going to rust out like the for example the Brivus unit was just sitting um in on a concrete slab on the lowest part of the ground and the bottom of it was rusted out it did last 25 years like i'll give it that um and it's still running but this is like on a higher up where it won't flood but not only that it's 400 mil off the ground so it's well and truly off the ground is what i'm saying and it's all leveled off perfect so basically at the central of the house well off the ground not going anywhere so the outdoor unit isn't you can actually see the condenser coil on the old unit like the splitty through those like breather holes so basically somewhere around there there'll be pipe coming in straight on so nice central run nice short run yeah that's the indoor
Okay, so just like any other unit, you have the main like box off the side of the fan coil. That's normal. And then if you get the zone controller, you normally get this little extra box that you mount to the side. Well, it's the exact same with the air hub. And then basically you've got to run that thing there, which I'll show you, up into the living space. So we're going to hide it in the linen cupboard and that'll just pair to the sensors. So basically it's the same deal. You just put the extra box on like you would with the zone controller and then you um, pull it. There's like plugs on the side that all the zone motors go to. So we're going to have that little white box in the linen cupboard with the Wi-Fi module which goes into there. It'll make sense. So it looks chaotic when you do the first one, but it's actually very easy. So the outdoors in position. So basically paver on the ground. I'm not putting this on brackets just because of the sandstone and I just don't want it to vibrate. Um, so yeah, this one's gone on pavers. Um, basically, it's a level as you can see, still got to put the isolator on, but this actually had um, a bush here and I said that it needed to be cut back and they weren't overly excited about that because it's such a nice tree, but that's just what needed to happen. So basically they've cut it back and we're, so the, new, the old one was there, I've moved this one over so the fans blow straight past that bush and they're going to like make that like a, the very, this is going to take ages to grow but they're going to shape it to be like a ball up, up the top and the fan just blows straight out and I left room there for servicing reasons so you can like easily get in here and work on it. Um, I think there's about 200 mil there. More. Nice and center on the pavers. Yeah, there's even power there for when you want to um, surface it, I guess. But yeah, that's where it's going. And also another reason why I put it there is because I can bring my services through there as opposed to drilling a hole through that massive um, sandstone block, which I could easily do because I've got a core hole bit and it's soft, but I'll just do that so I don't damage something that's like literally 150 years old. <laughs> it's reversible sort of thing, but anyway, that's the spot, nice and level.
All right, just found a couple of coins um, in the ductwork when we're pulling it out. Um, at first glance, I was like, what the hell is that? Because it's a 50 cent piece and it's like, it's round, which for all the Aussies watching, you know what I'm talking about. We don't have a round 50 cent coin, but um, then I realized it's a Kiwi coin, New Zealand from 1987. Um, so yeah, if you're Kiwi, is this what your 50 cent coins still look like? Um, but anyway, yeah, I'll, these were found in the ductwork. They'll obviously drop down the vent. Um, so they're pretty damn old. That's an Aussie coin. 70s and 80s coin. Be cool. And my hands are filthy because that's just what happens when you're installing stuff. <laughs> go isolator on the side the electrician has come and put his feet in that right there is the drain from the indoor unit and then they're going to plant this stuff along there they cleared that out not me um, and like I said before that's going to go up the top but they're going to keep it clear for the airflow and I've left that room for just so you can get in there and service it but yeah, that's the unit I'm not going to really go into too much about it because I just want to show you the air hub system. That's mainly what this video is about. Cool. 